Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. My apologies for the delay on any potential uploads of Pendor, as I am a well-known procrastinator in my neck of the woods, and I must say I am very sorry about that. Now, the main reason why I really don't like to finish things is because I prefer the story to carry on in people's minds, whereas if I end it, then... It's a rather final choice, and after that, everyone gets some conclusion to the story, and I prefer it to carry on and, you know, have some sort of imagination along with it. But, yes, I'm very similar with that, as I am with every other game that has an amazing story or is just an amazing experience, such as when I played the Walking Dead game. I only played to episode 3. And at that point, I was like, oh, nope, I do not want to finish this, because it is just too good. Just too good. So, yes, that's exactly how I feel about these types of things. And, yes, so I do apologize once again for how long it has taken me. But I have finally found where the last Feared's Vein vassals are. I believe these are the only three that are left. And as you can see here, if we go to the faction relations, you can see that the Feared's Vein are actually still around. But because we have not vanquished all of their nobles, or should I say vassals, we cannot actually win officially, I suppose. Now, I have actually read that if you do not have 100 relation, I believe, 100 relation with the Noldor, then you cannot actually win officially. Which would be a little strange, considering it would take me probably a couple of hours just to gain to 100. So I'm hoping, once I take out these Feared's Vein vassals, that I should be able to finish it. So, let's do it. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Yes, I do. Okay, so... Ah, yes, I did release him. That's very nice indeed. But now I am actually going to... Hmm. I should actually... Yes, I should convince him to join us. Why not? I ask for your support. If I were queen, I would uphold your ancient rights as a noble of this land. Yes, let's do it. I think you're a good man. Yes, we're a man, apparently. Okay. But I'm worried that you might be pushed in the wrong direction by some of those around you. Oh, no. Okay. Yes, it is time. Oh, no, he cannot. Oh, that is a real shame. That just lets me know that I need more persuasion skill, apparently. So, I'm here to deliver you my demands. I'm very sorry. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, we are in the desert once again. And we have now declared war officially against the Feared's Vein. Okay, this has been quite some time since I have played Pendle. So let's just get used to using my amazing axe once again. We do also have a bow, which is absolutely amazing. I haven't actually used this in quite some time. Any bow, that is. Let's hope I can actually get a few kills here. Come on. No? Oh. I was hoping that I might be able to... Oh, it's actually going over them, I think. Maybe I should... Yeah, that's a bit better, maybe. Oh, I did some damage to his horse, but not really anything else. Okay, let's charge everyone. Okay, they only have 64. I think they only have a very small amount total, so I don't think we really have to worry that much. And it seems as though they are pretty much stationary at the moment. I'm not too sure why they're doing this. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. I'm actually being a horse archer for once. Amazing. I'm bad at it, but still, it's rather fun. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. Nice jump and slash right there. Okay, come on. Ooh. This is actually a defector from the Dashar principality, I believe, so we'll have to fight a couple of scorpion assassins. Not very pleasant at all. Ooh, yes. Oh, here we go. Nice running attack right there. Very nice. Maybe we can take out this fellow. He's being rather devilish with his evasion tactics. Okay, let's help this guy. Or maybe not. Let's help this guy. Yes, there we are. Not bad. Take him down. 
And it seems as though our archers are doing a pretty good job, as you can see on that hill over there. They're not doing too bad, I don't believe, at least. I hope so. New enemies have arrived, and we should be able to finish this off without too much trouble. Or at least I hope not to get launched in the face. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. They let me go, because they know it's one of the last episodes. Yes. That's the way to do it. Okay, so I think my plan for defeating the Feared Svein and afterwards is I would like to get Iceni married. Now, I know this is actually <laughs> rather a bit late for actually getting her married, but I thought, well, why not? You know, we may as well experience everything the mod has to offer, and maybe it's a different marriage ceremony. That might be quite nice. Than the native, of course. So, yes, I will find our potential suitor after these particular series of battles, and then we will see what we can do with that. Oh, we have a few that are routing. Oh, no, no. He's just turning around to fire his bow. Even more. There we are. There we go. Very nice. Take down this fellow with my horse's charge attack, of course. We have three enemies remaining. And now one enemy remaining. And he will be going down very shortly. Or maybe not to me, but to someone else at least. Very nice. There we go. Okay, so we suffered very few casualties, of course. And now we will be letting him go. Why does he have minus 16 now? I suppose it's because we attacked him. But there we are. We will let him go. And take as many units as we potentially can. And then we'll take the prisoners as well. And now we can take our fight to the very nearby Fearsvein vassals. There is the declaration of war, and now they will start running away from us. Hopefully we'll be able to catch them. Oh no, they're splitting up. That is never a good sign, because now I won't be able to find that other fellow. That would be terrible. Oh no, he's actually not following properly. Oh no. Oh dear, this is not good. Oh, okay. Oh, there we are, I found one of them. Yes, go on, we're faster than him, surely. 4.8? 4.2? We're actually not faster. Oh wow, this is going to take quite some time, isn't it? Okay, well... <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll cut away, and then when I have engaged the enemy once again, I will cut back. Okay, so I finally caught up with him. He made a wrong turn, and I was able to catch up. So, let's see here. How do you feel about Hunger Valdis? Aha. I do worry about the state of the realm. Well, you should be. You have no fiefs left. <laughs> I ask for your support. I will deal with all the men fairly. Oh, no. Yes. Yes, I'm more comfortable with you. You speak of protecting the commons. Yes, okay. Join us. Yes, there we go. Okay, so he has joined us, but he obviously does not bring over any fiefs because he doesn't have any, but that is a very good thing indeed. Yes, I will take my leave. Now he is one of us. Okay, so I think the other one went off in this direction, so I will cut away once again, and once I have found him and hopefully either convinced him or taken him down, then I will cut back. Okay, so here we go. This is the next fellow that we must try to persuade. My sword is at the disposal of my rightful liege, so long as he upholds his duty to me. Did you wish to speak of anything else? Yes, I did. It is well known that I am disappointed that Jarl Gunder Doomseeker received the fief of Miss Meyer Castle. Yes, well. Because I will reward you with lands. Yes. I'm more comfortable, yes. You speak of giving me land, good. I ask for no more than my due. Yes, okay. Join us. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now he has also joined us. I pledge allegiance to you as your faithful vassal. Yes, that's always good. Okay, so now he has also joined us, which is great. So we will now be eliminating the Fearsvein faction, as you can see. That is amazing. And there we go. Conquered by one kingdom, player faction has defeated all rivals and stands as the sole kingdom. The prophecy of Madigan has been fulfilled. An alternate probability has been created. Oh, what is that? Oh no, I want to find out what happens with the alternate probability. <laughs> well, there we are. That is potentially the end of Prophecy of Pendor as we have united the lands under one banner. And I suppose the only thing to do now is to wed Iceni to someone and also to take on the Noldor in a couple of sieges, I suppose, with various compositions. I think that might be quite fun. And now I will be attempting to find the particular person that I have designated would be a rather good spouse for Iceni. So I will cut away once again, and once I have found him, I will cut back. Okay, so this is the fellow I was talking about, Lord Lethal Diran. I wish to ask you something. Let's see, what would it take to cement a lasting alliance? Yes, are you proposing that you and I marry? Yes, that is my proposal. My lady, you are a woman of great spirit and bravery, possessed of beauty, grace, and wit. I would be most honored were you to become my wife. I suppose the next step would be for me to send a message to our family, asking for their permission to marry you, but I suppose that you make your own decisions. We are queen of the entirety of Pendor, you assume correctly. Very well then. As there are no obstacles to our marriage, should we then consider ourselves engaged to be wed? I will organize a great feast, and we can exchange our vows before all the lords of the realm. If you are willing, that is. I am willing. There we go. Wed your betrothed. Very nice. Hopefully, a little over a month from now, we shall be wed. There we go. Okay, so now that is set in stone, practically. As you can see, as you have no family in Pendor, he will organize the wedding feast. Yes, that is very true. Okay. So, if any of you know about that alternate probability, then it would be very nice indeed if you would let me know in the comments so that I will be able to show that on camera if it indeed is new content of some sort. So that would be very nice indeed. And now I will be heading back to Alaria and hopefully going to the tavern to get some food, maybe, and to increase our relation, or should I say morale, because at the moment we are having quite some issues with that. So there we are, let's get into the tavern. And I think what I will do now is probably cut away once again, and once yes, the yes, yes. time comes that we are able to marry Lethal Duran, I will cut back at that point. So I will see you very shortly. Okay, so I have waited one week, and now I have found where Lethal Durin was currently stationed, and it just so happens to be one of his fiefs, of course. My lady, I have grown tired of waiting. Let us proceed with the vows immediately. Aha, with this assembly as my witness, I vow to take you as my wife, to honor, cherish, and protect you. May the heavens bless us with health, prosperity, and children. I vow to take you as my husband, yes. Okay. Let the festivities commence, and here we go. We have all the lords and ladies of the realm. Very nice, there we go, okay. We are now married to Lethal Duran. That is great. Oh yes, okay, so I suppose, seeing as we have now done that, we have vanquished every single foe from the map. As you can see, this is one final look at the map before we go off to fight the Noldor Castle, which is Elecrae, of course. 
and then I will hopefully be able to take them on and maybe take them down. If not, then I will leave it up to someone else to pick up the torch, as it were. So, I thank you for watching this amazing series. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And again, I am terrible at ending off series, so please do forgive me if I make a complete fool of myself at this particular point. But anyway, I will end this off here. So, I thank you for watching, and next time on Prophecy of Pendor, it will most likely be us attacking the Noldor Castle with a variety of compositions, and it will probably be me enhancing my progression a little bit if I cannot do it the first time around. So, I will see you next time.